Slow down, G-Man. I'm just using your intro to make a point. You'll see why in a second. It's a hunk of bunch of hunk of garbage! No, I'm not claiming to be you. But why do you have that wig anyway? Isn't cross-dressing against the Bible? Well, I guess not, because you do it, and you also say, Read your Bible and do what it says. That is stupid. Well, that's awkward. Anyway, let's get started. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of uh, Preaching to the Quiet Ministries. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of uh, Preaching to the Quiet Ministries. It's time for Preaching to the Choir Ministries. It's time for Preaching to the Choir Ministries. And in this edition of Preaching to the Choir Ministries, in this edition of Preaching to the Choir Ministries, you call what you do Preaching to the Choir Ministries. But in fact, that's far from what you actually do. What? Okay, okay, I'll explain. Preaching to the Choir is defined as making a case primarily to one's supporters or talking about something to a group of people that already agree with you. These are your last 12 videos. Let's look at them and see how many of them are actually preaching to the choir. Not this one, or this one, and especially not this one when you're out street preaching, or this one, or even any of these. I'll give you these, but let's be honest, you are probably intending these more for your atheist audience and not your Christian audience. Okay, are you serious? Get your information straight! Please shut up. No, you get your information straight. You don't preach to the choir. You know, maybe you should change the name to G-Man Ministries or something. I don't know. I don't really care as long as it's not a lie. So, G-Man, why don't you do what you once suggested and... Put down your pipe and smoke it! This has been another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. God bless God. Seriously, though, what's up with that wig? 